Thank you. We're also following breaking news out of Lipscomb tonight, a CBS 42 exclusive, as the police chief is trying to find out who killed three dogs. The dogs were discovered this afternoon on Avenue A near a railroad track. That's where CBS 42's Corey McGinnis is standing by live on the scene tonight with what investigators are saying, Corey. Jack, very disturbing situation, and the smell out here right now is unbearable. The smell is actually still lingering around, but let me show you this here. This is what we found. You see this cage here? We found a small white and brown Shih Tzu inside found dead, but two other animals were found nearby on the same street. And I got the chance to speak with the chief of police out here, and he tells me that he's serious about finding the person or the people responsible for this crime. But I do want to warn you right now that some of the images that you're about to see might be disturbing. Take a look. These are some of the photos uh, of the Dogs that were found inside on the road near the railroad tracks off Avenue A. We found one woman who covered the dogs and says that she plans to bury one of them in her backyard. Lipscomb Police Chief Marisha Moses tells me he got a call from a concerned citizen about an animal that was in a cage that appeared dead. But when police arrived, they found three dogs a pit bull, a chocolate retriever, and two separate totes, and a small shih tzu inside the cage you just saw, dead, all found lying on the side of the road, some in trash bags. Lipscomb Police reached out to the Greater Birmingham, Birmingham Humane Society. Society about the dead dogs found to find out the cause of their death, but the Humane Society say Lipscomb police decline right now. I asked Chief Moses if he has any leads. No leads. Um, no one at this time. I'm going to have uh, one of my officers do a very thorough report on this. And you see this sign right here. It says, no dumping in the area. Violators will be prosecuted. Now, the chief does not believe that this is a case of animal cruelty, or he does believe this is a case of animal cruelty. He does not believe that this has anything to do with dog fighting. Reporting live in Lipscomb, Corey McGinnis, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Corey, thank